Hey hello everybody, Eastron here and welcome back to Library of Ruina. This time we are playing another mod again and this one is the modified head model. Well, by modified I mean it is a head model which isn't the one that's here and it is completely on its own. And uh, it is kind of the same battle, I think uh, the stats of the characters are a bit different. But it is still Xena and Burrell, uh, both of which uh, have their own pages, so we can actually get them. Have 800 HP, 450 stag resist, 46 speed, have normal resistances to two of the types of damage and endure one of them. Then endures slashing and Burrell endures piercing. They have interesting abilities, they only have one ability per character that have a lot of stuff actually. So there are multiple abilities in one ability. So let's actually go through the abilities and then we'll go through the pages. I think we've all seen these pages, these are the same pages from the actual head fight. But now we can actually see them beforehand. So yeah, uh, Zena has an ability called an arbiter. At the start of the act, exhaust all pages in hand and deck, add new pages to hand. Draw 5 pages and install max light each scene. Gain a speed die if barrel is alive, when on Gabriel floor. Change max light uh, max starting light to 9, gain additional 100 HP and 50 stagger, and gain a speed die when on beam and floor. Gain, pl gain plus 1 power and increase max speed number to 8. Uh, I guess you can't really modify the speed to be 4 to 8. Maybe. Probably, so it has to be an ability. I can tell if it is a comma after uh, when Venus flow, so I can tell if it is only for Venus flow. As you can see, uh, the characters have flow specific abilities. So on Gabriel flow, it she gains a speed day. On Venus flow, she gains uh, more HP and stagger, and the speed day as well. For Brawl, we have a clone. As the start of the act, exhaust all pages hand and deck, add new pages to hand, that's basically shimmering by the way, draw 5 pages and restore max light each scene, gain a speed die if Zen is alive when on one's floor, change max starting light to 9, gain additional 100 HP and 50 stack grid, and uh, gain a speed die when on being on floor, that's it, gain a speed die when on being on floor. Gain plus 1 power and increase max speed number to 8 if Sephira is alive at the start of the scene, gain 1 strength and endurance. So yeah, uh, Zen has an ability that procs when using Gabriel or Bina, while Burrell has ability that procs on Ron's floor. And we are actually running Ron's floor. We have the Black Silence here with uh, Mio's prowess and the strongest equipped. So it is basically Gabriel but with Ron's attacks. We'll see if it works well. If it doesn't, I think we'll uh, switch into Hot or Yesod for this one because those don't have any floor specific buffs to the enemies. Let's actually look through the pages as well. Thin line, dice in this page and the page collection with it unaffected by power gain or loss. Tiger's current deck cannot be recycled. Don't tell me all of this is uh, nullify power. That's actually really boring. I guess uh, Roland will have to fight with his claw. I hate the power nullification, which is kind of here only for one thing, which is countering Gabra. And like, that's. That's so lame. 7 to 10, tag is coming back and will be recycled. So it is uh, against uh, fighting this page with uh, one strong attack, aka okay, Gabra's vertical slice, a vertical slash. Which is once again a very lame because it serves to only stop Gabra. And knowing that we have the strongest plus minus powers, it is also going to stop Roland, so we'll have to use him to clash with Brown. Lime, tag is coming back and will be recycled. Once again, power nullification, very lame, also a very boring attack on its own. I guess we can only use like like nothing against it, maybe we'll send this to you. Yeah, we'll send this to you, the only page we can actually use consistently on it, I guess. Thick line, I think even this industry isn't going to be consistent here, the same thing, but with a 15 to 20 blunt die. Birdcage is actually something I don't actually remember. 6 to 10. 8 to 13 on, heal, on hit, seal a speed die of target for the next scene. That's actually pretty dangerous. I think if uh, Zena pulls out this page, we will have to counter it with like Crystal Atelier or literally anything else we have because of the strongest. Shockwave, the same one. 27 to 30, a really strong roll. 
exhaust this patient and return the hand after two scenes. Don't tell me she can use it uh, on scene 1. If she can, that's actually really, really bad. Because she does have 9 sight and light, so she can go for shockwave and birdcage at the same time. Okay, now for Brawl's pages, we have Serum K, recover 50 HP at the start of the scene, uh, it is the next scene. Uh, probably we should attack Xena further than if Brawl is self-sufficient, because if he heals himself, there's no need in attacking him when we can just take out Xena and be fine. We'll see. Trail, 7-11, 7 the die cannot be destroyed, meaning that we cannot just counter this with Will's industry. Well, I guess we can because 7 to 10 doesn't deal too much damage into a 5 to 8 block die. Then we have extra patient, 9 to 18, deal 3 damage to target. That's a pretty strong damage and attack. I guess this is the one that we want to Will's Industry. And the same one, Serum R, R, 18 to 27, that's just a generally strong attack. This should be countered with Gabra's Greatest Slash uh, Game Slash Vertical. I'm pretty sure when you use Greatest Slash Vertical on Serum R in the actual fight, uh, Brawl does not take damage from the attack because he counters it somehow. Serum W, yep, we've all seen this one, we have to block it I guess, that's the only way to evade a 30 to 30 attack, that's actually pretty lame it is still here because it will just deal cheap damage to us. Tricerium Cocktail is also a pretty strong attack. Dice cannot be destroyed, so it is once again to counter Gabra. Uh, and I actually don't know what we can use to counter this one. I guess we can go for Crystal Doll, yeah, it is already okay uh, in its current form, and when under the strongest plus mesh prowess, it will easily counter Tricerium, so we'll, we'll think about that. Okay, now let's actually fight. The music is from the head. They have a lot of speed dice. I don't like that. Extubation. Serum R, Serum K. Wow, that's a lot of attacks. Two sick lines. Wait, that's six starting light. That's not nine. Oh, right, because we aren't running Gabra's floor. And Baral here has nine light because we are running around. Okay. So what do you want to do here? Uh, we have Will's Industry, we also have only 4 light, meaning that it is difficult for us to survive the first scene. If we go for Crystal Tool Year here, I think we can counter this, I'm not sure in how efficient it would be. I really don't want to use Will's Industry from the max speed die, so I guess we'll do this. Then we can use our Renga under plus 5 to do something. Probably attack Xena. That's the only one I really want to attack right now. Sick line, we have to somehow block it. Well, this. That's a pretty hard target. Okay. I want to do something here. Let's actually draw a page in hopes of a unity page. Nope, we don't have that. Sadly. I guess we'll go for some recreation, so we can actually deal some damage to Brawl, while also blocking a part of his damage. Uh, we can't really retake anything here, but Serum K is attacking Piper, so that's kind of bad, but also not that bad, because we are getting emotion levels, which is very useful in this fight. Unity Bulwark is a great page to use here. Unity Bolster will also make the Unity page stronger, and I guess with a bulwark and a coordination, we can throw in a unity bolster here, so we just block a part of the attack. Let's start. Here it is. Unity pages are really strong, but their strength comes in the number of dice and not in their power, which is kind of a problem for this fight. Uh, that was weird. I guess an issue with the mod. I actually haven't played this at all, I didn't check if it is bugged or not, so there might be some bugs, like... Okay, might have not been a bug. Okay, anyway, we are dealing some damage, we also paralyze enemies, which is nice. Serum K actually rolled pretty low, which is also really lucky for us. 
Hello, it is pretty buggy here. I mean, pretty laggy. Uh, CMW is being used. Who has the highest slash resistance? She does. Sadly, she doesn't have enough speed. I think Maximin can actually retake that with a Unity Bulwark. Uh, do I want to build the Priesthood here? Mm, probably not, I won't, I won't have enough emotion. Can't use Pitch Black Pulverizer here, so we'll drop H. That's some of the creation, that's actually pretty useful. Uh, hmm. Roland actually has no emotion levels and because that no light, which is also awful. He can go for Old Boy's Workshop here, so he can kind of counter extirpation a bit. So we'll also so we'll only have to worry about Serum K and Serum R. I think we can retake Serum R here. Though that wouldn't make much of a difference. Okay, now we only have to worry about Serum K. And I guess we can go for some preparation here. Let's actually go for the series. Some preparation is not as effective against Burrell. We can go for the match here. Uh, that's a thick line. I guess we'll go for some preparation. And then we can go for, for much as well. Do you want to go for those priesthood here? I think we do. Okay, we'll have to tank this one. We'll have to tank here. Yeah. Sadly, we'll have to tank. Okay, we take a lot more damage. But we are getting emotion levels, which is always useful. Oh wow, that was a tie somehow. I actually thought it would just uh, tank a bit of damage. Okay, here is my favorite animation in the entire game. That is also pretty deadly. That's actually only 11 stagger damage for session attacks, so that's pretty nice, but we did take a lot of physical damage, and we aren't scoring that many attacks on the enemies, so we aren't really getting the HP and the speed back from the attacks. Also, it seems that Maximin doesn't even have a health hole, which is also awful. This is bad. Well, that's <laughs> why do I have to choose one? Can I just skip? I really don't want this. Uh, curiosity seems to be the one thing that isn't going to kill me. I can give it to, I guess, Piper. Oh, here it is. Shark wave. Yep. Nice. We love that. And another Serum W. Well, uh, this isn't that great. Well, I'm starting to think it is once again a poorly designed fight. Uh, I think we can take this. Like if we get lucky. Anandian Thirst is a viable option. What do I want to attack it with it? I can't destroy the Triceron Cocktail Dice, which are the kind of the ones that I really want to destroy. Let's actually try, maybe they can be destroyed by my stacks. We'll just we'll just try this. Okay, and I think we'll at least destroy the block die of the lion. So here it is. That's an 11, so we don't even destroy the Triceron Cocktail, because we rolled pretty low. Okay, here is the attack. We've taken a lot of damage, and we aren't really healing at all back. Maybe I should <laughs> equip uh, Remain Vigilant in Peace and Firm as a Great Mountain, because they can be really useful in this fight, because we are not out healing the enemies. That's for sure. Well, 
Nice. Wow, really cool. That's a tech gun. Wait, was it two fourteens, two max rolls? I love it. I love this RNG. That's so cool. Origin. Hunt is about to die as well. That's another CMW, can you not? Wait, <laughs> he's not <laughs> he's not recovering light. We can just ignore the clashes, right? We can just start them out of light. Oh my god. That's genius. Wait, I... It actually... Might be salvageable. If we just forget about them and attack... Like this. I think we can just... <laughs> ignore them. They will have to use a lot of light region pages to attack. I guess we can say goodbye to Maxine. Multi slash and oh, that's going to stagger us, right? Yeah, of course. Not much. Maybe we can outheal the amount of staggered damage it will deal to us. There is a chance. With the endurance, I think the chance is pretty high. Okay, now we are just dealing damage to them. Okay. We are not stabbing them out of light, that's for sure. She has a lot of emotion coins already. That was very close to staggering. This is going to stagger as well. Okay, we have 18 stagger. The fact that I'm counting it is not a great sign. Yeah, he left. That's nice. How does he always have enough light? Cause it don't cost light, what? Wait... But it's four, he doesn't have shimmering, right? Wait, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh my god. How am I going to beat this? Spoiler, I'm not going to beat this. That's insane. We can't even... We have to actually kill them, like, the legit way. And that's pretty difficult. Okay, that is unaffected by power gain loss. Is this unaffected by power gain loss? Of course it is. So there's no need in Crystal Pool yet, because it won't work. Oh, nice, my favorite page. Hmm... Yeah, utilizing Unity Bulwark to its fullest extent, well. Wow. Let's actually take less damage. I can actually manage uh, Ws if I just go for endurance. Yeah, I, I forget about endurance. Probably I wouldn't be in such an awful situation if I didn't forget about my trigrams. Yep, that's a stagger and possibly a kill, actually. No, that's not a kill. But it's pretty close. 32, nice. Wait, did he get two abnormality pages that give him endurance and strength? Because if it is, 
the case that's awful. Because <laughs> I always forget about the remote pages and somehow then I didn't get any. So I guess all of them went to Barrel. Let's actually use Fervent Beast here. I think we can utilize it pretty well. Remorse is useful. The amount of dice is insane. Uh, yeah, he does have one endurance and one strings. Okay, here we have this. I guess we're going for course of the, cl of the climax against Triserum. And we already don't have enough light. <laughs> oh my god. The light room does not go away with our amount of power. With replace, maybe it is a zero cost. It is not. That means we have to now use Roland and his power. And of course they have power nullification. Yeah, that doesn't really matter if we use anything this power because <laughs> that power doesn't transfer to our page. And once again it is some W which I can't really do anything about. Yeah, this is fun for sure. <laughs> once again, a battle in which I can't really do anything because the enemy is just spamming its strongest attack I've ever seen. Yeah. And the strengths, why not? The use of Dragon here already. That didn't even hit once. That's insane. Oh, nice. We got some stack resist back. Not that it matters because <laughs> Brown and Senna have much more. And they are going to deal a lot of damage. I think Brown isn't staggered here. Yeah, he's not. But he's very close to getting staggered. I was actually thinking to get staggered. I don't think we're going to kill either one of them. Hmm, what can we actually change here? Maybe we can bleed them out on hot spore. Or can or maybe we can go for raw damage on your source floor with smoke. It's going to be a cheesy strategy, but like this fight is awful. Uh aspiration. I am strongly against that. Frost Winter is pretty nice. Sadly, Fervent Beast does not give light restoration. Unlike. Uh, what's what the page called? A Mountain of Corpses. So I can't really do anything. Uh, can Remorse beat Shockwave? <laughs> Probably not, but I'm going to try because I'm desperate. Actually, learn. Uh, we don't have uh, a choice here, we'll have to tank that. Can't even make sure Molto Slash after that, I don't know what to use. Uh, I guess we can Bulwark here and then Molto Slash. The Black Overizer has a pretty high chance of actually beating against Shockwave, so that's nice. City can go here. So go workshop, we'll do I mean nothing, but I'm going to use it anyway. Can actually restore one light here. So I can go for unity bolster. Well that's it. Now we die. That's 28. We actually won on both of those pages that we used. That's nice. I actually forgot about Tanya's ability. Probably should have used her to soak up damage. I just realized that she has uh, guts. Okay, this this wasn't that great of an attempt, 
though I am still alive somehow, but not for long. Okay, bye bye round. Not this piper. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, we have no choice here. We really don't have anything we can do. But I think we can beat them out or smoke them out with other floors. Yeah, the serums, uh, the serums are driving me crazy. That's insane. So I can go for that. I can go for crystal ball, yeah. I don't know why I'm trying still. I actually don't know what I'm hoping, hoping for. Like, I'm not going to do, to get anything done, even though I have people with polarizer here. I guess I can prolong my death a bit. Yep, got some stagger resist. We rolled lowest pos most possible value on remorse, but then I did too. Okay, uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I actually will probably stop. I don't think there's any point in continuing this fight. Uh, and it's also been 26 minutes of the video, so yeah, here's guts. Yeah, that that doesn't do anything. No, yeah. Great, yeah, inspiration for. And now we can return to title. We will lose the book of Lobot Incorporation we'll have to farm up, but I think we can easily beat it with hot by assault. So let me build a floor. I'm actually not that great at hot's floor, so I hope it will turn out great. So yeah. Jump cut. Okay, and here is the jump cut's end. I completely forgot that I cut the video at making the actual team on hot's floor, so here we are again uh, at the fight. And actually it went surprisingly well, we have killed uh, Zena and we have barely touched Brawl. Uh, we are running hot's floor with a lot of bleed infliction, I have given everyone obsession, which is nice. I actually could uh, set that up pretty easily. Uh, so now we just have to proceed with it and we have to um, actually, you know, beat Burrell. Uh, he has less speed dice now, he didn't really use more than 4 every scene, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but we also have uh, Mirnea here, who helps us with power. I mean, she mainly gives power to herself, but, we, but with her power we can actually fight with Burrell, because Burrell does not nullify power with virtually every one of his attacks, like Xena does, which means he is much easier to take down, because we can just spam attacks into him, and when we clash we have a high chance to actually win the clash, because we don't have the initial rolls, we have the power. And with uh, Hot, knowing that she is our purple tier, that is great, because uh, I guess we can actually deal damage with her power. Also, we do have uh, Look of the Day, which I I have said that I am not really a fan of this page because it is difficult to take care of, but it really isn't. Uh, I've changed. I find it to be uh, much better to have two strengths than not to have two strengths, so I'll just wait. And here it is, the awful face, and now we can actually kill. And by killing him, we will deal some damage. Raul is getting a lot of strength and endurance, because Hoyt is still alive. But uh, we are kind of killing him. We also have a shell on this team, which isn't bleed reliant, as you might expect. And uh, that is because I wanted to do something with Burn, I guess. I couldn't think of another good Burn user, uh, I mean, good user. 
so I decided to just throw Shell in for fun. Okay, here we have Greta who can use Sanguine Desire, and with 52 Bleed that will mean he takes a lot of damage from the Bleed itself and then we'll be able to finish him off with Sanguine Desire. And by finish him off I mean like deal a lot of damage but probably not kill him. Okay, let's see, I want to uh, take stuff away from Greta because she probably will be using the actual Sanguine Desire page. So we are going to feed Nene and Olivia to those attacks. We can probably take that. Yeah, we'll be on, for example. Then we can go for the city and onto assault for light restoration. It's been a long time from the last time I've actually explained my moves here. I always just click the buttons and say that those are useful moves, I guess. So we'll do this. Can't actually do much more after that. Outside of really getting our light back. I guess we can do the same here with Cosmic Respect and Motor Slash. I really like how they added the ability to change targets on top. That means uh, it is much easier for me to control the attacks. We can actually go for Crazy Gas here, and as you can see, we can easily tap it back to be on. And okay, now he takes a lot more damage than he deals. It's going to be 26 on us and 52 on him. Because the bleed isn't going down because of the Sangre Desire special ability. I think you might know that Sangre Desire does not only deal enormous damage by gaining power from bleed, but it also stops bleed from uh, going down when damage is attacked. Because as you can see, uh, it takes away one third of the attack. And let's actually see the big number. Here it is 110. That got nullified because of Barrel's ability to nullify one attack over 30 power, so only the next use of Sanguine Desire will actually work on him. Okay, he is spam spamming serums all the time, Serum K, Serum W, uh, it is literally everything he's using, and that's kind of bad because that is just really awful design, and I can't really do anything about that, but I am. I wouldn't say winning, but I am kind of holding on to hope that we can actually do something. Strength here, why not? We don't have endurance, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I actually tried to not forget about endurance here, because if we go for the endurance trigram, we can take much less damage from Serum W, which is always really nice. Okay, I also think the Grosh Inch is not going to work well after Burrell loses a lot of his bleed, because we don't have Sanguine Desire up, meaning that he will lose bleed on attacks, meaning that we won't have the full power of that ability. I really don't know why I gave people this Gosh Inerts, as you can see it is the first page here, it's not because it gets shuffled like that, it's because it's sitting here from like for a long time basically. <laughs> I'm not using it, it's difficult to use in this situation. Let's go from to Dragon Formation against Extirpation. We can also go for Endurance, I guess, just so we get our Trigrams back. We can actually Ogre Kick for power, and we can Grazy Grass and Lesson Respect for Light. Okay, now let's start the fight. Okay. We now take a lot of damage from Serum W, that's alright in my opinion. Uh, we actually dealt a lot of damage already, and well, he actually won that clash, sadly. Oh yeah, because he has to power this time. Uh, we now inflict even more bleed, we aren't going to get to the 52 bleed we had with the first and wind desire usage, but it's alright, I think. Just the fact that uh, bleed stops 
lowering is already enough to make sanguine desire usable in all situations. Also, that's 40 bleed. That's alright. That's actually 44 bleed. Can we even use sanguine desire right now? I'm not sure. And yeah, we cannot. We have to go for one more scene without it before using it. Here's an W. We have endurance, and we don't have a page with a leading block die, which is bad. But I guess. Mirne does have the most HP out of all of them, so... Mm, what page do I want to give? Uh, in reality, I guess... I like Quest and Respect because it gives light on use, so we don't have to hit. Uh, then we can... Probably inflict a lot of bleed, because we want to have... Some Wind Desire up next turn, which will need a lot of bleed to be useful. We also want to get a lot of light on Greta, who will probably be the user of Sanguine Desire once again. Oh, well, Traxerium Cocktail is not that great. That's actually pretty awful. But I think we can tank a lot of the damage because of the plus 2 to our block dice uh, with the face. Also, I did not uh, look at the face last scene I'm pretty sure, so that's also some lost damage on my part, but I kind of don't care at this point. We're actually pretty close to getting him staggered, which is nice. I did not build this team around staggering enemies, but we are staggering them from just the sheer amount of one sided attacks that we are dealing. Mm. Let's wait for the bad face, here it is. Okay, yeah. We'll have to tank this with a face. Also, did I not use the Trigram? It seems like I didn't use the Trigram. Well, that's a problem. But I mean, we did endure that, so we didn't do any damage at all. Okay, we actually tied the first Clash. We'll have to take the second and the third one, but we, I think we can kill him next turn. With Bleed, it's not going to end. Like, we didn't inflict 29 bit already, and I think we'll inflict a bit more. Okay, here's 30. 36. Lacerration did not do the attack. Oh, nice. We actually have Lacerration attacks up right now. Oh, <laughs> we staggered him, nice. And Snake Spray. Okay, that's actually... We'll actually kill him right now, nice! Okay. Here it is, the high reception, done. Once again, a very difficult reception, just like... Sanders was, but this one is a bit more fair in the fact that it doesn't like immediately kill my librarians, only a bit later. We actually got some. <laughs> we actually got some uh, bottle symbols. We have the Hannah Station Director. I actually haven't seen this one at all. Uh, we have the Book of the Arbiter and the Book of the Claw. Let's actually burn them. Let's see what they can give us. Claw's page, Baral's page, two different pages. Weird. Uh, and their pages here. Yeah. We also get the upgraded versions of Pillars, Chains, Shark Waves and all the stuff that uh, Bina has, but this time it isn't degraded. I'm pretty sure this, these are the ones that we get on Bina with the actual uh, head fight, because Bina has upgraded attacks and also this is a pretty cool, <laughs> I guess a pretty weird visual bug, where you can see uh, CMW in the corner of your screen. Okay, we did not get any of the Xenos key pages, but we get the close page and the Barrels page. Oh, what? Wait, look at this. It seems that the claw is just a page, right? That has these pages that are exclusive to Barrel and claw, I guess. It's speed. Also, we don't get speed dice from emotion level bonuses, so we have to wait for the enemies to get emotion levels. Uh, a claw, draw 3 pages and stop 6 light, give 1 all power up to all that's really strong. And let's actually look at Baral's pages. I think... Yeah, it is pre-equipped with everything that uh, he has. Uh, and have, we have the same thing, but Baral has a unique key that cannot be... Uh, combat pages that cannot be replaced or swapped, so yeah. And as you can see, it's a 3 limit, uh, limit. That's, bef that's because... 
Oh, 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 I see. Okay, so uh, I understand why this ha has to be made. Because he has unique uh, key pages that uh, in combat pages that cannot be swapped, that means he can get uh, two copies of a single object that page in his deck. As you can see, trail is here th three times, even though that is an object that page. If we go for close page and we get trail, we cannot get another copy. So we have to get Baral's page uh, to get the same stuff as the close page, but we have his actual deck. And then we can do all of our own stuff with the close page. I think it is really strong, even like this. And we probably don't have to use Serum R. Okay, maybe I'll use the pages of the Claw and the Arbiter against uh, Censored. We'll see, maybe I'll do a round 2. So yeah, that's it for the head reception that is modded. I can actually see the mechanism about this. The head, yeah, it is just the head. And yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a like and comment your own thoughts on it. Maybe you have any mods that you want me to look at, then please tell me, but I'm pretty sure I've seen all the mods in Nexus mod already, because there aren't actually that many of them. So yeah, thank you for watching, I'll see you around, and goodbye!